What up, lunatics? We're on the road. Welcome back to the channel. We are on our way to the California Delta. Can't wait to get on the water up there and start trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together. I'm heading up there for the FLW Toyota Series event. Um, super pumped to go up there. Uh, one of my sponsors, GCI Outdoors, is sponsoring this event. And I'm super excited to be up there representing them and as always I'm representing all of my other sponsors as well but they chose this event out of the list of tournaments that were available this year and said we want to sponsor your Delta event so here we are um, I'm a, probably like halfway there I just got lunch at Jack in a Box and something kind of funny happened to me at Jack in a Box so we're in the height of COVID stuff right now and I'm driving through California and California some of the dining rooms are closed on places but you can still go in and order takeout well I was walking up and one of the workers is out there and they're like hey sir the uh, the dining rooms closed but you can go through the drive-thru and I'm like well I have the boat I can't drive through the drive-thru with the boat because it's too tight she's like no 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 you can walk through so I literally just walked through the drive-thru at Jack in a Box I went up to the window ordered ordered my food and then they gave it to me it was the weirdest thing. I literally walked through the drive-thru in order to get my lunch today. But <clears throat> enough about that, but I just wanted to share that. I thought it was kind of a trippy situation. Make sure to comment if that's ever happened to you, if you've ever actually walked through the drive-thru to get your food. Um, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and let me know that you're new and you subscribed in the comments. And um, I hope you like today's video. And if you do, give it a thumbs up. If you've been liking some of my other content, give it a thumbs up as well. But um, Let's get into it. We're going to be driving up to the Delta today. I'll be checking with you, checking in with you guys periodically as we're driving. And uh, yeah, let's get on the road. Let's go. Alright, so we're on the road everybody and um, it's pretty uh, pretty uneventful road trip which is good when you're on a road trip you definitely want it to be uneventful um, I'm probably four or five hours away still and um, while I'm driving I just like to listen to, to podcasts and stuff like that that's one of the things I really enjoy listening to our podcasts I like the Gary Vee podcast a lot Bass Talk Live is another good one um, I like the Ike Live podcast, the uh, Luke Duncan podcast. Those are all some of my favorites, and uh, those are those are the, what I like to listen to on the road. I'm trying to look at something on my phone, talk to you guys, and drive all at the same time, and uh, makes it a little bit difficult, but we'll get through it. So the Delta is a gigantic fishery, and uh, I, I literally downloaded the. Uh, Lake Master map for my hummingbird unit the other day, and it said it's 95,000 acres, and uh, the place is just gigantic, and uh, there's no way to break it all down. Um, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna start uh, for practice starting tomorrow. Um, I don't know, I don't have areas I like. I have some spots that I like to fish, but nothing that like I can call my home, and I kind of build off of that. Um, so I kind of have a lot of work to do in order to get ready for the tournament and get ready and try to have a game plan. Um, I do know about different baits that, that tend, tend to do well, um, or at least that catch fish, but I don't have like a milk run that I can just run if I don't find fish. So I really have to put the work in. I really have to find fish in practice and, um, Luckily, I have a few days of practice to put everything together. Um, in the past, when I've come up here, I've only had two days of practice because that's all we were allowed for that tournament format. And um, I'd come up here, I'd have two days of practice. You'd have a minimum of two days um, of the tournament. The top 10 made day three, and um, that's all we had. So I literally had um, one, two, four, five, six, seven, so I had four and four, so I had eight days of practice, eight days total of practice and tournament, and then I stayed one extra day, one trip. So I have a total of nine days of practice. I think if you follow all my videos, I said a different number, and I was wrong in that video, but I have been on the Delta a total of nine days, 
and um, even with nine days of experience on here you can nowhere near cover everything or even probably remember how to get everywhere so I'm relying on my mapping relying on practice to uh, try to put something together and in my previous experience out in the Delta I've also only fished it in April which is kind of the tail end of the spawn up there and um, I've never fished there in the summertime uh, I have no idea what to expect I've heard they they've been spraying the grass like crazy um, which they do that to kill the grass so that way all the marinas and stuff aren't choked out with grass but when they end up doing that it definitely hurts the fishing um, so you want to stay away from those areas generally and um, we're just gonna have to kind of play it by ear I'm, uh, I'm hoping that I can put a pattern together um, I've heard it's been tough up here but that was from a couple weeks ago so I don't know if it's still tough if it's picked up if it's gotten tougher anything like that so I'm just I'm just going fishing guys I don't really know exactly what to expect I'm gonna have you know the typical Delta stuff on there I'll have a crankbait on I'll have a spinner bait on I'll have a frog I'll have a punching setup I'll have a drop shot too, I'll have a Senko, I'll have a bunch of different stuff at the ready. I kind of feel like I'll probably be doing a lot of junk fishing. Um, I like to throw a crankbait up here when I can, um, but we'll see if they're eating it. Maybe they aren't eating it. Um, maybe they're eating a frog, maybe they're eating a buzz bait. you never know. But thankfully I got practice to try to put some stuff together. Um, but a lot of times red does well up here, but I don't know if that's just like a, a spawn, pre-spawn type deal or if it's red all year long. Um, I've heard the water colors pretty clear, so that might lend itself to more real life type colors rather than those reds that are fairly common up here. But you know, I'm gonna try some red crankbaits. I got you know green pumpkin, red plastic stuff like that that um, I bought specifically for this trip. And then I have a few different crankbaits that I definitely want to put to use out here. I got the six cent swank, which is one you don't hear about very often, but it's supposed to be awesome on grass and that's what you're fishing a lot of up here at the delta i mean grass literally lines almost that entire entire fishery there's docks there's tules there's mats there's there's every everything you can think of and the entire place looks fishy um even where there's no not a ton of grass or not a ton of tules it's a riprap and as as you know if you're a bass fisherman riprap's a great place to get bit so literally this entire place looks fishy it's shallow pretty much everywhere some of the deeper channels and some of the bigger river areas have a little bit of depth to them but you're pretty much doing some shallow water fishing out here at the delta and something else in some of my past tournaments that um, I want to get away from is having a lot of preconceived notions about how I think the bites gonna be what baits I think are gonna do the best um, I don't think that's a good thing for me to try to get into I think I need to just kind of fish the moment a little bit more, as I can Ellie would say, and really just try to figure out what's going on right now. Not try to fish history, not try to fish what somebody did in a previous tournament, uh, not fish necessarily what I've done in the past. Um, there's definitely areas that I want to go back to. I have a couple spots that I that I really like that I really feel like I can go back, and there's probably going to be fish on them just because they're just good areas they got a lot of current they got some current breaks and um, there's probably a ton of areas like that on the Delta but I just don't know where they are I mean this place is huge so you know that's part of the the hard part for a guy like me coming up from Southern California and fishing against a lot of these locals up here is that I don't know where everything is and a lot of these guys do so they might be able to get less bites in practice but be able to put a better pattern together because they can replicate the bites that they did get so for me you know I am looking for bites but I'm also looking for above average bites because if you really want to do well you got to have the above average fish because if you come in with you know what everybody else is catching you're not going to be up in the standing so I need to find bites in order to get on a pattern but then I also need to figure out how to catch bigger fish maybe that's punching maybe that's top water maybe it's it's something else but it's definitely something that I have to try to figure out all right, well, we just stopped. I had to stop to use the bathroom real quick. Um, we're probably a couple hours out from getting up to where I'm staying at, and uh, so far the drive's been going okay. Made a few phone calls along the way, and uh, there's something in the bed of the truck that I'm gonna show you guys that I think is uh, gonna be a really important part of this trip. Not for the fishing or anything like that, but just for the, the comfortability that we're gonna be doing camping. 
because I'm staying with a buddy in his camping trailer at one of the marinas out here and um, there's some stuff in the back of the truck that um, are really important to this trip and really important to my ability to continue fishing these events and I'm going to show you guys right now. So what that stuff is, is the fire pit rocker, slim fold cook station, and the three position director's chair with the ottoman by GCI Outdoors. Uh, we got a Traeger coming for this trip and uh, I know that the slim fold table, the cook station, it's a table. It's going to be perfect for the Traeger. Um, and then those chairs are going to be great to just have out um, when we're done fishing, had a long day on the water, just being able to get out there, get comfortable. And um, guys, if you need chairs or any tables like for camping or out on the beach or whatever, make sure to check out the GCI stuff. Um, it's super good quality. Um, you can use my code MLF15. It's going to save you some money off of your purchase. And if you buy online on their website, it's always free shipping. So you can't beat that. And, um, you know, without them, I wouldn't be going on this trip. And it'd be make, it would make my tournament fishing and my aspirations to fish professionally a lot more difficult because they are one of my biggest supporters. So I want you guys to support them because they support me and they have great products. So I, I can stand by them. I have no qualms about promoting them and encouraging you guys to buy them because I know that they make good stuff, they make quality stuff, and it's all stuff that we can use. So you've seen a lot of my pictures of being out at the beach and bringing it with bringing the chairs with me bringing the tables out when i was at lake havasu camping with my family um, you can just have them around the backyard when you're watching your kids or or whatever great products make sure to check them out and uh, we got to get back on the road One thing I've noticed when I do these on the road travel type vlogs is that I always forget what I'm talking about because I'll be driving and uh, an hour or two will go by between my my clips or something like that and I always forget what I wanted to talk about or I'll be driving along and I'll think of something and then I'll forget when it's time when I decide to actually record something again. So it's kind of funny, so if these, these travel vlogs kind of bounce all over the place, I apologize, but, you know, I don't take notes and, like, come up with ideas. I'm pretty much just fly by the hip, and whatever I think at the moment is what comes out. So I apologize if, if these things are kind of all over the place, but um, I'm getting closer. Um, I'm probably, like, an hour, hour and a half out. Um, I'm ready to get there. I'm kind of over-driving ready to get kind of settled in and, and get some, maybe some tackle rigged up for tomorrow morning, get the stuff put in the trailer, get the linens and everything on the bed, all that kind of stuff squared away. And um, I literally think I just, I forgot towels. That's something that I just realized I forgot as, as I'm talking to you guys. I literally just was in mid sentence and realized that I forgot to bring towels for a shower and stuff like that. So I have to pick some of those up now, but if, if towels are the only thing that I forgot, not that, not that major. Um, one thing I want to talk about is, um, if you notice these glasses that I'm wearing, if you haven't heard of water lens sunglasses, I highly encourage you guys to check them out. Um, I've been wearing them for months now, and I, not one month, but multiple months, um, and I really, really like them. The polarization's really good, and, and one thing that I think that um, people haven't, really put together when it comes to sunglasses and some of this the fishing brands in particular is that just like when you have a picture and you have like a filter in that picture and it brings out different colors or if you're editing a picture and you change the contrast and certain colors come to life and other ones don't that's what these fishing specific sunglass brands do with their lenses so there's literally like filters on these glasses in addition to the polarization so not only are you getting the reduced glare being able to see in the water 
but these sunglasses are designed to pull out the reds or pull out the greens or the blues or whatever depending on the different lenses that you pick and that's why there's multiple lens colors and that's why you get different types of pictures depending on what lens you get where one one might be more to cut the glare down another one might be higher contrast so that's why there's multiple lenses out and when you go to look at getting a pair of water lens sunglasses try to look at the different lenses and pick the one that's going to be most appropriate for your typical conditions now obviously you could get all the different lens colors and have options for different conditions and stuff like that but i know most people you know they don't have the money or they're not willing to spend the money to you know put up you know that kind of money to just get a bunch of pairs of sunglasses so at least start with the one that's going to make the most sense for your fishing and the conditions that you fish in the most but um if you want to get a pair i really really like um the waterland sunglasses um the ones i wear on the water are called the ashore that's the the the, the type that i that I wear on the water, they're the Ashore ones. And then the ones that I wear right now are the Hybros. Those are the ones that I wear um, most often when I am uh, just day to day and stuff like that. And uh, there's an interchange coming up and I don't know which one to take because I'm talking to you guys. So hopefully I chose right. I don't know, I might not have, so I might have delayed myself, but oh well, we'll figure it out. But if you're looking to get a pair of sunglasses, definitely check out the Waterland sunglasses. The website's waterlandco.com and use my code LUNA10. It's gonna save you some money on those glasses and it really shows um, your support, not only for that brand, but also for me getting my content out to you and letting you know about Waterland. So anytime you have somebody that you follow or you wanna support, make sure to use their discount codes because that's a direct reflection of of their ability to get in front of you and that they have people that want to support them. So again, that's waterlandco.com. Use the code LUNA10 and uh, get yourself a pair of sunglasses. I think you're gonna really be happy with them. A buddy of mine I went fishing with not too long ago, put them on, um, I had an extra pair in the boat and he put them on and right away he was like, wow, this is way different than the sunglasses I had on. I don't know what brand he was wearing to be able to tell you specifically which ones he was saying were better than, than uh, the, what, what brand the Waterlands were better than. And I don't want to necessarily get into that bait, debate. I really like the Waterlands sunglasses. I'm really happy with them. Um, but I just wanted to tell you that story because he put them on and immediately could tell a difference and was just blown away with it and went and decided to buy a pair for himself. Waterlandcode.com, use the code LUNA10 and get yourself a pair of sunglasses. I think the launch is still going on with the cheaper prices as well. So in addition to my code along with the launch sale, you'll get a pair of sunglasses for 100 bucks. Um, great deal on those sunglasses. Normally they're gonna retail for 150 thereabouts. So go check them out, I'm really liking them, and uh, I got some more driving to do, so I'll talk to you guys later. Well, we made it. We finally got to the campground, um, got parked. My buddy that I'm staying with had a little bit of issues with his motor and uh, had to go into town to get some spark plugs or something for spark plugs. It's nothing major. He'll be able to fix it here pretty soon and I'm just waiting for him to get here. But um, we made it. I got a little bit of tackle to do and um, I was able to go into the store and found a Target and uh, got my towels that I needed so I could shower and, and all that kind of stuff. So. Looking forward to being out here, looking forward to going fishing tomorrow, but I got a little bit of little bit of stuff to do today to get ready for tomorrow, but can't wait to get out there and start practice and uh, get things going. All right, well, I'm in the trailer and I'm solo. So my buddy actually um, had some more serious issues with his, uh, with his boat motor and ended up having to go back 
to his house, which is thankfully only an hour and a half away. But um, it was late enough in the afternoon that he was going to end up having to uh, uh, stay the night there. He's switching to another boat. He's got to take all the tackle out of his boat, put it in the one that he's going to borrow to uh, get through the tournament. So I'm just chilling in the uh, trailer by myself right now. Um, just got some Popeyes for dinner. It's pretty good. And then now I'm just going to chill out, get ready for tomorrow. Um, another buddy is going to be showing up here probably around midnight or so because um, he came from Arizona, had a long drive, so he'll probably get in around um, midnight. <clears throat> so once he gets here, um, I'll probably go to sleep a little bit before that, but uh, probably going to have to help him get into the trailer and then um, get up and get after tomorrow. I rigged up some rods earlier today too because um, I had nothing ready to go. I had a, a new reel that I needed to put some line on. So, you know, I got the usual Delta stuff. I got a crankbait on, I got a chatterbait, I got a punch and set up, a frog, a buzz bait. Um, uh, I got a six cents clout tied on, a swim jig, a um, bunch of different stuff. And, um, you know, got to start trying to put those pieces of the puzzle together and uh, we'll see how the day goes. And of course, I'll, I'll bring you guys along tomorrow as well. But, um, that's it for today's video or this video. Um, I appreciate you guys watching if you're new and um, <clears throat> want to watch more of my videos, feel free. I got a whole bunch of them listed in the description of this video. And um, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it if you guys did that if you haven't already. Um, if you have any questions about the Delta or anything like that, make sure to drop a comment down below. And if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later.